The video is called Idiot Streamers Who Got Caught Cheating Live. This should be really funny. Using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold. These okay, are the dude. dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating. Dumbest streamers. Yeah, there's not a lack of that, is it? Eating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Wait, what? Up until this point, Elm Zero had <laughs> built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex not bad at all. gameplay. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. Too impressive, huh? That's not, that's not that sus right there. While this first kill was arguably still possible without yeah. aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Oh, oh, okay. You see what the giveaway there is right there? He shoots through the wall. He, he pre-fires through the wall pretty much. That's what he's doing. Hey, what's up, Blaze? Hey, Jordan. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he yep. already knew where the enemy was yep. before locking onto the player with near perfect accuracy. Look at that tracking Elm though. Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter What's post up, reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. There we go. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the uh, PUBG Corp for... Uh, for what? My ban message said hacking. Determined oh. to expose Elm Zero for good, another clip was tweeted of him warming up for the match in which his aim was once again robotically accurate Accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media. Yeah, it's funny when they just delete everything. Oh shit, I don't want to get caught again. Deleting shit's not going to save your ass. You're done. Before disappearing from the internet. Semper 0311 was even stupider. As after going live <laughs> playing the game Destiny oh, 2. Oh, my boy's playing D2. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. Oh my god. At the time, god. he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people. However, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Writing in the chat is... The fact that only one said something, right? That's pretty sad. That aimbot on your screen, it has like red squares around them. Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen has red squares around them. And after pretending to be... Con look, look, look at that face. That face was like, oh shit, I fucked up. That, that was the face right seconds, there. The stream ended abruptly and the footage was... What a coincidence, right? I, nobody will find that in any shape or form, you know, like uh, a little bit sus. No one deleted. In the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the audience, what a fucking Semper pussy. admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. Like, I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. How <laughs> but you see the point though like look at these people man they, they can't be fun to watch so they gotta have something and in that case it has to be aimbot because they think that if they shoot like crazy for some reason they think that nobody's gonna notice that it's sus and that way they're gonna grow their following and let's just be honest this guy already had like 15 viewers a lot of people can't get over two to three viewers. However, at least Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini and just prior to being I know this exposed, one. I know this one. I know this one, chat. called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? That sometimes- I fucking hate when they play that card, man. That is just so annoying. You know, because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating. However, the real reason behind why she was called a cheater Hey, Karma is a bitch. Just minutes later, as she begin her first CS:GO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. Ah, oh, oh. oh, look at that! She knows exactly where. Oh my gosh, she's so good! Look at that. After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird I know glitch. This one. Do you guys ever get that uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank? That it, it shows everyone's rank. I played the other day. <laughs> oh, with Rob, God, this and he is got embarrassing. That and now I have it. Uh, okay. I don't know what's wrong. Wait, what did you say? I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. Th that's one way to say, hey, you know that guy, Rock, that I play with? He's also cheating right there. Uh, I don't know Goodbye, Rock. Why. Weird. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer yep, earlier Clara. that day. Fucking Clara, man. Wait, Clara.
Clara, hold on. Clara. Yeah, give me call Clara. Second. Yeah, yeah, Clara, call her. Let me just message this girl. Piece of shit, man. Why is it's her fault. My computer right now? Where is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. She Ask Clara. She earlier today. I'm literally going to kill her. She promised me she didn't use Fuck, man. PC. Clara. It's all Clara's all fault. People, this is what happens when you let people use your PC. Realizing yeah. that there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. That's Yet, not unfortunately, sus at all. this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which <laughs> happened later that day. Bye. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the Later. hacks on your computer, ya. it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. Optic? Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018, shit, and in man. the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assume that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in How Shanghai, though, China, man? that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only be after the main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. Take a look. This first strange flick into the ground was oh. followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Holy... That's way too obvious. See, and while there was a chance, see, the problem isn't simply the snap, right? Because on mouse and keyboard, you can snap to someone really fast, and that has happened. And I competed on in the Counter Strike too, so people would do some crazy snaps. The problem is when you snap to someone, and after the snap, every single bullet stays on the person. Because you got to imagine those people start strafing, right? It's not like they stay there. So for you to land every single bullet after the snap, that is extremely sus. And that's exactly what's happening here. Chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level player. It will be with one Not final really. matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. You see that? How it follows after the snap? It stays right on the target. Look at that, look After at that. After locking onto the enemy through a wall, Ooh. event organizers called a timeout, and Ooh, officials sus. made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer. However, the officials would ignore Extremely this and look anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he- The fuck? Slap this guy, bro. He tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having what? traveled all the way from India, <laughs> Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic That's the India biggest problem, right? Because him being a douchebag didn't just affect him, right? That would fuck up the team. Like, I guarantee you that's what happened. Shutting down altogether. But there Forsaken you go. isn't the only only person in this video to cheat in a professional Such tournament. Such an asshole, bro. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, Ooh, the following lot of money. scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. Oh, he's not dying. Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. After continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating, I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived. Well, uh, well, you gotta think about it. Like, it's not like the previous guy, right? Like, he doesn't, he didn't go to this tournament thinking that he was going to cheat or he didn't have something installed on the PC to have some kind of huge advantage over the players like aimbot or whatever or wall hacks right and i understand why people would think this is cheating but it's not in the sense of hacking obviously however you know it was unfair to that guy because it was a glitch that prevented him from finishing him which at the same time, like if there was no glitch and he had died, that other guy's team might have won tons of money, right? Like, so when there's money on the line, I feel like if it's a glitch like that, you just play honorable. You say, yeah, I know this was a glitch. He got me, you know, we're out and just play it that way and let your teammate do his job. But 
He's just being annoying pretty game, much. Even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact. Yeah, but the, the, first exploit, clip was actually... uh, the exploit, he didn't cause it on purpose. He wasn't exploiting on purpose like it just happened to him. So yeah, he went with it. In my opinion, he should have just given up and said, yeah, I, I'm down. That's what I would do. But I also understand why people wouldn't consider this necessarily hacking or cheating. You know what I mean? Actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot whilst trying to prove that he wasn't no cheating. No fucking Up way. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two. Yet similar to the Apex Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy would be called out on Twitter after I mean locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Oh! Another clip then surfaced oh, where Captain Baldy us. displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. Bro, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. And as stop, a result, stop, his chat stop, began stop. to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control delete. Oh no, what a dumbass! Oh, oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain Bully oh, relentlessly, no. which was followed by a live Warzone <laughs> band later in the stream. Uh, Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn no way. <laughs> With the Captain Baldy saga wow, ending with the bro, deletion so of his pathetic, entire man. channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from. So just like our last cheater, Oof. the audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu. However, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. Oh my after God. being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight. Over 2K views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs, people. Really appreciate the help. Although these 2,000 views worth of free press didn't contribute to the long-term growth of his career, as Young this hasn't gone dumb. live on Twitch ever since. This guy's dumb. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This guy's dumb too. Okay, like I know this guy. I've seen this video. I know this one. Twisted Bear, this is whose just Twitch so description stupid. boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. Yeah, of course. The reason for this claim would become apparent in July of 2020 when he'd go live displaying his skills. Oh my Only god, he look at him. completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never heard from ever again. But this is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a much more significant figure in the Call of Duty community, Whoa, 50K, huh? a Twitch follow account of over 50. You gotta understand, 50,000 followers on Twitch, bro. It's it's like, that's a lot of followers for people to get, you know? Like, I don't know if, if it's legit. He might have done whatever, you know, the fake follower shit, whatever. Somebody that cheats, they'll, they'll go to any kind of lengths, right? But if, it, if it's the real followers and then to throw it all away just to use some kind of cheats, you're so stupid, man. Thousand. During so a live stupid. stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 Yeah, people, look at that. Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so this good at Call of Duty that idiot has aimbot in the background. Oh my god. This is the first time you see someone good at the game. Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like, seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu, oh which he had my aim god. enemies turned on. Despite having one 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. Ooh. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about it. I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean yeah, to? Yeah, what the fuck? You don't download and use cheats. Oh, guys, uh, uh, chat, uh, I, I wanted to tell you the other day when we were playing, I accidentally ended up on a uh, cheating website and I downloaded Aimbot and World Hacks. And I, if I'm being quite honest with you guys, and you guys know how much I love you, I have, I really have no idea how that happened. Uh, sometimes my fingers get out of control and they just keep doing their own shit. So I accidentally been cheating for like three years. And I want you to know I'm not that person. It just happened to me, okay? I, I, 
it, it is what it is. Without Sorry. meaning to. I mean, come yeah. on, buddy. Before Sorry. going on to try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This no, is no, really no. not who I am. Despite having who cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. These Shut days, the Mr. Up, Gold's pussy. Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from <laughs> Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more oh. interesting question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game. What? This is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. No way, bro. Why are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating. A dev cheating. Wait, wait, you not, you not see him? him? You can't see me? Oh, I know what happens oh here, bro. God. He's Why? not, he's not cheating, dude. He's not cheating. Devs can do this, right? Like they can do this in MMOs too. Like they can do this where they make their character invisible to prevent, let's say some people to do some dupe, dumb shit in the game. It has to be one of those things. He probably forgot to, to turn off the invisibility. I guarantee you that's what's happening here. Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Yes, oh 100%. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. However, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Absolutely no accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a what lifetime did he do? ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And then he was going to test the hacks for his video. This is what happens. Look, aimbot FOV, aimbot. Wait, 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 I don't wait, know wait. what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. Over the following seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh, man! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to- Wait, he did this on purpose, bro? Wait, 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 let me, let me get this straight. So my guy downloaded cheats on a different account and he streamed this live and turned it into a video? I have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. Jarvis finished the video by once again reiterating that, has that to you be one of the dumbest that his things dummy account was most certainly going I've to ever banned. fucking heard in my life. Aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably what? didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. Uh, in the days <laughs> that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video titled I've been banned from Fortnite. I'm sorry. In which he explained that he could no longer play the game. I have actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. Before stating that he was extremely... I mean, it really depends on how we look at it, right? Like, this could all be calculated, done for, you know, more more clout, all that kind of stuff. And I don't think he needed it necessarily because he... I know, I've heard about Jarvis, obviously, and he's a huge, huge, you know, streamer, whatever. But, like, maybe it was all calculated and done on purpose to get even more hype behind the person and the channel and whatever, whatever. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry for his... If not, it's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. And if it is, you know... It, I guess it worked. Actions. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know now how big of a mistake this was. And like, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can... The video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this is- I mean, he's a kid, right? Like he obviously, I don't know how old he was here, but it could have been done on purpose, as I said, for more hype. But at the same time, he's, he's, a, he's a kid. He did something stupid. Judging, you know, from him crying and stuff, like I'll be honest, people can be so fucking fake on the internet that you never know, but- It's happened. I don't know. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me. This 
is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish, what the fuck who did might he have do? the craziest cheating story in this whole video. Okay. Super fast jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. How, in the lead up How? to his blindfolded How attempts, do do super fast jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight. And apparently he was correct as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 to upload a video titled Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blind. Let's say this guy is cheating, which he probably is as we watch the, the video. How the fuck did the other people get it done legit? That's what I want to know. That is insane. Blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the one up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the one up will go and once it spawns, something completely determined yeah, by RNG. Yeah. Then after chasing it on a moving platform exactly for a I mean. completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who is actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload yeah, that is his A, super fast jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he'd try to claim that the run had been faked deliberately. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely fake. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of his- Okay, bro. Uh, why do you make a dumb mess out of yourself? Like if it's purposely fake, you gotta say it right away if, if you're doing it for entertainment you gotta say it you can't let the video sit and get popular and everybody starts talking about it and then some guy has to break down the video to show everyone that you're a piece of shit liar and then you come out and you'll be like oh you know what that was fake that, that, that was just for fun guys you know what I mean? Lies. A super fast jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95%. Okay, there we go. That, that, that pretty much sums up what the people think about this stupid idea of him saying it's fake. But anyway, that was a pretty fun video. We might watch some other ones in the future. Yeah, let's watch some of those later too, man. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that one a lot. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh, we got no scopes.